In this lecture, we'll be starting with collections in ECMAScript 6. We'll be first of all taking a look at the sets collection that ES6 introduces. Sets are simple data structures similar to arrays. The only difference is each value in a set is unique. So over here, you can see that we have created a set and it's having numbers like 10, 20 and 30. We are assigning that set to a variable calling it as yes and here we are checking whether a particular value exists in that set or not. So for that we have the has method where we pass the number which or the entry item which you want to check exists or not. If it exists it will return true otherwise false. So here as you can see 40 is not present in the set it will return as false. Then what we are doing is we are adding 40 to this set so the output becomes 10, 20, 30 and 40. That's what it will log when we'll check it out in the console. After that, we're trying to add 20 over here. You can see that 20 is already present in our set. So it's not going to update our set at all and it will remain like this only 10, 20, 30 and 40. Finally, if you have to remove some entries from the set, then you can make use of the delete method and pass the item which you want to delete. Here we are deleting 30. So the set now becomes 10, 20 and 40. So now let's check this out in Chrome browser and see the output. So the first is coming as false because 40 is not existing in the initial set that we assigned to the variable. Yes. And then you can see that the 40 was added. And after that, when we tried to add 20, it was not changed at all. And after removing 30 from the set, we are getting the set value as 10, 20 and 40. In the next lecture, we'll be taking a look at maps collection in ECMAScript 6.